We have a problem. Uh, so, welcome back. Uh, Scooch here, and uh, we're back in the Hairpins Garage. Today, we got Nick. He's doing a little bit more on the Jeep. Um, and Kyle's actually manning the camera. Thank you, Kyle. Um, and, uh, yeah, so Nick, you want to kind of tell them what, what you're doing exactly today? Yeah, so everybody knows Jeeps are famous for having not super tight steering. Um, on the JLs and the JTs, they have fixed it quite a bit, but there's still a little bit of play in the... Um, why am I blanking right now? You don't know anything about cars. I don't know anything about cars. No. <laughs> the steering box. Yes. <laughs> Simple ass term. All right, so there's still a little bit of play in the steering box. People like put GoPros underneath their trucks and like it wiggles like maybe I'd say like a quarter of an inch back and forth, but there should be zero play in that. So what we have here today is the Synergy uh, track bar and sector arm brace. So in addition to the brace, it's made of three quarter inch laser cut steel absolutely phenomenal i've already watched a couple of install videos on it and it completely gets rid of all play in the steering box it also gives us a new pitman arm nut so with the biggest socket i've ever seen in my life I had a special order this for the video 42 millimeter socket uh the rest are just regular wrenches and tools and you are going to need a grease gun for this install um and i guess the first couple steps which i already did off camera actually were to Take the track bar bolt off this side right here, drop the track bar down so you have room to work. When This is where the bracket goes right here. And uh, you have to take your four bolts out of your steering box, bracket slaps on, new pitman arm nut is going to go in, and it has this extension on it. So this extension on the pitman arm, pitman arm nut allows it to connect to the brace, which helps stabilize the steering box. The uh, pitman arm nut that's in there is literally just like the tip of this. It has no extension on it, so it kind of looks like that. Um, so the first step after you loosen up your links and your track bar, you drop that down. We need to get under there and break free the pitman arm nut, which is going to be interesting. Even though it's a new truck, it might still be pretty difficult. Might need some heat. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it had some Loctite on there from the factory. And uh, this is the piece that connects into the brace. So the extension on the pitman arm nut slips into there. All your pieces go in. You grease it up at the end and you should be good to roll. Uh, it shouldn't be too long of an install. If you ever worked on a car, you know that nothing ever goes as planned. So we'll see how this ends up for us. And uh, we'll get back to you when we're breaking that pitman arm nut loose. All right, so we finally got the pitman arm nut off. We had to run to the store and get the proper three quarter inch to half inch attachment. And uh, I didn't need a blowtorch or anything. A uh, blowtorch would make it easier. It looked like there was some factory thread locker on there. Um, I just used a breaker bar and all my body strength to break it loose and we just kind of hit it with an impact gun continuously until it finally came off so now it's kind of hot but here's the differences between the two um the two nuts so when you put it back on you gotta make sure this extension is aiming down put your thread locker on the inside there screw it back on tighten it up and we'll torque it down to spec and then we're on to installing the bracket What does it need to be? 184. We can do 150 for now. I don't think that's how torque specs work. <laughs> I don't think it's going to matter. 30 pounds, I'll just do it extra. I'll, I'll tighten it to 150 and then I'll, I'll uh, guesstimate 30 pounds. With that's my not hand. how that works. That's not how any of this works. Well, it's not like we have another fucking option, do we? You could just get the just proper. Got -ass torque wrench. Yeah. It's your torque wrench. Not, I bought it for 20 bucks. It, it does the 100 pounds I need on the Subaru. That's it. Well, Subaru's for wieners. Oh, with the lock is unlocked. Yeah. All right. Dude, the problem is this socket is so incredibly girthy and heavy that it's just like impossible to do it with one arm. <laughs> I'm gonna get it on and then pass it to you. See what I'm saying? There's no room to work. I should have just took the... Right, go for it. To the right, right? Is that it? Alright, so that's 150, so we need to go more than that. So, now that we know it's 150... 
If it clicks once, it's 150, right? Yep. So. Uh, I didn't even push that hard, so I'll push a little harder. Give me the breaker bar. That one or breaker bar? What do you think? Actually, we'll just do this because I can hit it from the side. Do not do this. Get a proper torque wrench. But when your friend Ryan set the right says he has a torque wrench, uh, you didn't specify how much torque you needed. Don't give her a twisty. I put my torque Thank wrench more torque than your sheet. You got it? Yep. You ready? Yep. Oh. So now back it up. There, bring it to that back. Just wait a little bit. Until it collects once. There we go. Yeah, there you go. All right. Oh. Ah, you're good. Uh oh. We have a problem. <laughs> that television. Oh, we have a problem. What? This needs to go up. Fuck. What do you mean it needs to go up? The pitman arm not, isn't all the way on. Look. This wasn't dropped down before, was it? See? That uh, gap? I'm pretty sure that's how it was. Are you it? sure? I'll check after. It's fine. But for now. You gotta take these four bolts out. I mean, because when we took the bolt off, the pitman arm didn't drop at all. I don't think it did. In the I mean, is it, like look how rusty it is. If it was, if it was true, if, it wouldn't be rusty. Yeah. Um, so you got long bolts from the front and short bolts from the back. You can't mix these up. Make sure the long bolts stay in the front for the steering box. Short bolts stay in the back. So just put them on the ground in the same manner. Um, your steering box is gonna drop a little bit, which kind of scary. But if you wiggle the pitman arm, you can lift it back up. It just kind of sits on the frame, and. Uh, now is when we we have all this off, so we have to slide the brace on and re-thread stuff the uh, re-thread the bolts through. It should just go right on like this. Just like that. Alright, that's pretty mint. And then we need to start reattaching everything. Yeah, it definitely has to go up a little, I think. We'll figure it out after. Oh, wait, no, the steering box dropped. That's oh. why it doesn't line up. So it helps if you have a friend, a beefcake like Kyle, <laughs> to help you wiggle the pitman arm. You want to get your bolts back in. You don't want to tighten everything down completely yet, but if you can thread a bolt through just to get it to stay in place, especially because it's your steering box, you don't want that out of place, then that's exactly what you want to do. So Kyle, want to come around and help me lift this fucker? <laughs> So this has to go straight up, right here. I'll tell you when. Up, down a little. Up, 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 right there, don't move. And let me just tighten it with this real quick. Yep. Hold it in place. Oh, that's not in. Right, try that. I think it's in. Yep, yeah, she's on that one knot. Beautiful. Thread this one through. Ow! Don't get your finger stuck. Kind of thread them on. Uh, can you go up a little on the back? Down a smidge, right there. I love how uh, Jeeps give it a wiggle. This uh, the entirety of the time their fucking steering is still controlled by just one pitman arm on the side. Isn't that crazy? It's just so okay. Uh, well, this isn't lining so up. Simplified. It's not lining up. Go up a little right there. Don't move. Basically, so we've been here for the last like hour trying to get this stuff all squared away, and uh, we ended up having to drop the spring out so that we could actually get to. Show you. So this bolt right here above where Nick is. Uh, hold on. Yep. The Basically, one, one right above is actually the spring gets in the way, so we had to drop that out so we could get in there. 
Um, and Which then you this the bolt, bolt in. you got to get the track bar bolt in as well, and that one doesn't line up. So you have Which to basically it does, put, it does now. You have to put the old bolt in and kind of like tap it through and just make sure it's holding in place. Now they gotta get to work. <laughs> so anybody that says they're doing this in a half hour, I don't know how they're doing it because it took us like two hours. Um, you got that extension so we can torque these. What do you say, 92 foot? foot 99. Pounds? 99. What, what a is? random number. Why not make it 100? Good question. Oh, you just keep twisting? Yeah. Extension. Oh, you need this. So that. No. You need this one. Oh, you need that <laughs> bolt for that top one. Let me see. All right, so here. basically we're back here. Um, moral of the story is don't put an extension on a torque wrench uh, or you will smash your finger on the brake pad. So, brake caliper, excuse me. So um, basically we got the wheel back on right now. Um, got the wheel back on and uh, everything's in. You, know, you want to make sure that we get, you get everything squared up over here bolts and you want to make sure you slide one right through there um, use the old one so that if it gets stripped it's not a problem um, but that'll come right through you did have to drop the spring down which I mentioned um, and we are putting the track bar back in right back. back into where it should be. How's that side look? Looks good over here. Uh, actually looks... Yeah, I mean, it's literally lowering it basically right on, stop. on it. It's like right... Can you grab this side right here and push, pull it up? I'll do this side. Pull this up? Yeah, the whole thing should... Quick side break. Jeef is going to put a hole in the side of his truck. Not as easy as I thought it'd be. No, it's not. Not bad. I wonder if it went all the way through. Oh, no, it almost did. Really? <laughs> it fucking is. You can see it. Oh, way. it's coming. You can see the little poke. This is what you do when you're here for five hours. The frame, get all off there, you just, and it all starts falling off. Not bad. Not, Not bad. bad at all. Not bad. All right, well, it's cold. It's cold out here. That's what you do when you're here for five hours working on something that was supposed to take 30 minutes. Shut up! You go and you put holes in trucks. Dude, don't get food then. I don't, I'm waiting for you so well, I can get the rest of this footage. All right, so we're back. Uh, as you can see, it's getting pretty dark out. The Jeep is actually outside now. We ended up taking it for a drive. It's yeah, uh, freezing. It is freezing. I apologize in advance if the walkthrough wasn't as in depth as we wanted it to be. Um, you know, we ran into a lot of problems with it. It took us close to four, we'll be honest with you, it took close to four hours to get it done. Um, we just, we kept running into issues. Some of those um, were user error because, you know, I'm not the most experienced mechanic yet. Um, 
and then other things were like you know we lost tools and stuff like that so i yeah. mean overall it's definitely not a 30 minute install like i saw some in other videos and uh i'm sure if you've been a mechanic your whole life you could maybe do this in like an hour and a half mm -hmm. with like the proper tools and um i think our biggest setback was the sway bar being shifted um we tried turning the tires back and forth we tried a lot of different things we wd forded it up and tried to pull it and it was just locked in there so um in the end we ended up flipping the tie rod around and it fits perfectly fine so it's good for now but yeah so i mean it seems like it's good for now we did drive it um everything seems to drive really well nick who obviously drives the thing every every day he noticed a huge different difference with it he said mm -hmm. it handles a lot better um it's tighter too a lot tighter um, I was lucky enough that my truck didn't have a lot of play from the factory. Mine was pretty good to begin with um, on the tiny little stock wheels. It was fantastic. When I put the 35s on, like on the highway, it really like if the wind gusted hard or there was something in the road that made me sway, like even though the steering wheel was straight, the wheels would make the truck walk a little bit. And it was just annoying to constantly have to think about that. I have yet to take it on the freeway, but um, we drove pretty fast on like a kind of like a, on a main road and uh, it was, it's solid, you know, and it's, I could feel the, um, steering box struggle a little bit when I was turning with the 35s 12 and a half wide you could tell it was working and now it feels effortless and I know in the long run it's not gonna burn out my steering box because it has that extra support so um, we can go so all in all it seems like everything's turned out pretty good it's tough to see but you can see the bracket right here the outline uh, if you can follow my hand yeah it's right there so again it's not overly difficult to get to it's just the Porsche the having to actually install it was what obviously took a little longer than we had anticipated um so just you know take your time and make sure you do things right and you know it'll go in it's just going to take a little bit of watch finesse a couple, watch a couple of videos watch a couple it. of videos you know watch this one you know, you're still going to get some tips from it um so hopefully there's enough in here to kind of give you an idea uh, but it also is semi self-explanatory so you know watch the videos for some tips and um you know Grease follow up. the instructions and grease. grease up the new pitman arm nut that's super important otherwise yeah. you get really squeaky steering it's gonna be really hard so add plenty of, the instructions say like you just need a little bit of grease and then go full lock full lock a little bit of grease but like you can never have enough grease when it's a brand new fitment so. yeah so just you know yeah take your time with it and uh everything should be good other than that um we will be installing a um what's it called again because i'm new to this jeep stuff that tuner what, what's oh it's a uh, flash cal flash so cal. once you put your wheels and tires on <clears throat> you can go to the dealer and have them flash your cpu to tell it's on 35 so that way your shift points get realigned and your odometer and speedometer get uh, realigned because right now I, uh, my speedometer says I'm going six miles per hour slower than I am, which isn't a big deal, but like I want everything to be in check, you know? Right. And uh, running bigger tires, you run a lower TP, uh, lower tire pressure. So um, your sensors are gonna be setting off the alarm, which mine are. So now I can also lower the sensors. And you know, the other cool thing about the uh, flash cal, we'll get into it in the next video, but it's like complete access into the CPU. I can change what lights up with my DRLs. I can change, if I have LEDs or halogens running and a lot of other stuff we'll talk about in the next video. Yeah, so it's pretty rad what you can do with it. Um, we will be going over all that, like Nick said, in the next video, so stay tuned for that. Um, and other than that, I mean, I keep talking about it. It's definitely coming. Uh, Mike's 1,000 horsepower Mustang, so keep, you know, keep watching. It will be here, um, but you know, we got caught up with Nick's Jeep and uh, we wanted to get that stuff done first because Mike's Mustang isn't going anywhere. Nick wanted to put these mods on. So um, the Del Sol. yeah, maybe we'll race against the Del Sol eventually. <laughs> so keep, uh, keep watching for that. Uh, other than that, like, comment, subscribe down below. Um, you know, hit that bell notification so you get, uh, so you get notifications when I upload. And other than that, I will see you in the next video.